Hey everyone, the Flying Halucha here, and today we're going to be unboxing Ride Your Wave. Now, Ride Your Wave was directed by a guy called, I think, Misaki Yuasa. But um, he also directed an anime called Night Is Short, um, War Con Girl, I think it's called, and Lou Over the Wall, which I am not really interested in either of them. Night Is Short, War Con Girl, doesn't really pique my interest in the slightest. It's just the animation looks weird. Also, Lou Over the Wall looks a bit babyish, so not too interested in that either. Also, all the anime, they tend to get all these, like, anime films, you know, once they released it on Collector's Edition, Blu-ray and DVD. Before that, they try and release it in UK cinemas. Now, I haven't really watched any of the ones that they've actually released in cinemas, I don't think. Uh, I think they talked a little on uh, Sword Art Online, the, the progressive film, only for, like, a few weeks and that was about it. Uh, forgive the uh, plane gun over. Hold on. But yeah, they were talking about the Sword Art Online progressive film. And uh, it didn't really last that long. I think they only like advertised it for like a few weeks or some shit. And then uh, that was it. They just went on to something else. Because all these films like Bell and uh, this this new film by the same guy that directed this. You know what? Forget it. Planes are gone over every five seconds. I'm going to have to deal with it. But uh, there's another film called I N U, uh, dash O H, Inu O or some shit. This sounds like a weird name. The guy who directed that also directed this, you know, and Lou Over the Wall and Night Is Short, Walk On Girl. But uh, yeah, it was it was anime that piqued my interest. It looked really cool. Uh, they all the anime probably you know released in theaters. This came out like 2019. And they probably, like, talked about it. Because every time I the anime, want to release a film, yeah, in theatres. You know, they license it for the UK to watch in theatres. They go on and on and on and on. And they tweet about it, like, non-stop, like, two or three times a day. Like, this new Inu O film or whatever. And, uh, yeah, again, I like, don't like the look of the animation. And I'm not even in, interested in the slightest to go and watch it. But, uh, yeah, this interested me. I got it quite cheap. I'm just going to check how much I got it for. Now, the info sheet looks like this. So, it was uh, from the studio Science Saru. They uh, made The Night is Short Walk on Girl, Devil Man Cry Baby. Uh, I I paid ten pound fifty for this, which ain't bad. As CX sell it for like ten pound fifty. Uh, sorry, one one about. I paid ten pound fifty for this on eBay, where CX sell it for fifteen pounds. There we go. Uh, they also Science Star also made another anime, if I'm mistaken. Uh, what was the other famous one they made? Oh, yeah, that uh, Ping Pong, the animation, they made that as well. You know, very famous for the weird animation. <laughs> but Ping Pong, the animation, uh, got like an 8.62. This got like a 7.6 rating, so that isn't too bad. But, uh, yeah, it's the front. Like I showed you, here's the back. Okay, so let's take the contents out. Do it. Yes. So, just like the stickers. Oh, look, all these stickers are stuck to the back. Oh, so there. So that's the blue one there. Everyone there. You can actually peel these off, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? Because then it's just no longer like a collector's edition then, is it? Love stuff. And the same as that one there. Same as that one there. Right down this down. The same as that one there. God, these planes are just mental, aren't they? They're coming over every five seconds. Aloha. That's over there. Uh, number seven, which is over there. So all the ones stuck to the back. I'm oh, so stuck in there. So we have the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. 
and we have the DVD. The back's really nice. And a little booklet which really ain't that good. Tiny little bit of info there. Bit of info there. Bit of info. Some nice artwork. More info. Characters. Doesn't tell you anything about the characters. Yeah, it's just not much. I'll give it a solid 5 out of 10. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. That is Ride Your Wave. Haven't got round to watching this film yet. I got halfway through watching uh, this Gonzo film. Uh, what's the name of it? Oh yeah, I was watching the film last night called Spirits of the Past. More the night before. I had to send it back to CX because I got like 40 minutes into the film. And it paused because the fucking disc was really scratched and crap. So yeah, I had to send that back. So I'm probably going to have to watch the rest on my phone. Which isn't going to be as enjoying as watching it on my big ass TV. But, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll buy that again. CX sell it for £2, but then I have to pay £1.95 be postage. So it's like three ninety five, when you can just get it on eBay cheaper. Yeah. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Ride Your Wave. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. The Flying Lucha. Je papai.